You are about to see real dialysis patients filmed at a real dialysis clinic or at home. They have chosen hemodialysis rather than peritoneal dialysis as their primary treatment. They will speak to you about the most important decision you can make in preparing yourself for hemodialysis. They will tell you why a native AV fistula is their choice for hemodialysis treatment. They will tell you why a native fistula is better than a catheter. They hope that their stories will help you understand the importance of having an AV fistula. Nineteen seventy, when they first noticed my kidney disease when I was nine years old, and I had a transplant in ninety-one. Uh, this is my second time around. That time, it was very quickly going to happen. This time, I don't have a donor lined up. I got up and I, got, I felt very sick, and we went to see my nephrologist, and he pushed me into the hospital. My creatinine was twenty-one, and I went on to dialysis originally on. April 11th, 1985, and I'm coming up on my 20-year anniversary. I went out one night after being sick when I was just back on my feet after going on dialysis, and somebody had approached me and said, oh, I heard you were really sick. I was like, oh, gee, I am sick. I need a kidney. Oh, yeah, but, that, you know, that that's different, though. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm like, I heard you could die. I was like, yeah, people do die from kidney failure. I don't let it get me down. <laughs> I got a life to live. <laughs> I'm too busy to be sick. It was like a light coming on. I realized what it was doing for me, the dialysis. It means you're going to live or you're going to die. The yellow light is telling us that the amount of dialysis could be better. And that is all three of these patients have catheters. I mean, all three of them have yellow lights. A catheter is two lines that go into your chest, and that one is a return, one is a drawing from a major blood source. It's not that convenient. It's not that comfortable. And you don't get as good a treatment. Well, having a line is a pain in the ass, pardon my French. It's. Uh... I had it in the summer and it was it was terribly uncomfortable. You couldn't shower, you couldn't swim. It was about a six to an eight week period and it was just just hell. The reason I wouldn't want to have a catheter, you can't take a shower. <laughs> you'd, you'd be sponging all the time. I found it was difficult to put on a shirt or take off my sweater because I was in fear of always trying to pull out the catheter. I did have a line in before, which actually fell out one time. The stitch came loose. I was going out with my sister, actually, and I noticed that the end of the line was a little bit lower than it should have been, and I suggested that we stop in over at the hospital before we went out, and it kind of fell out on the way. I'm touching it now. I could feel it. Uh, I've got a seven-year-old granddaughter. She's my baby, and when she sees me, she just jumps on me, and i got to stop her because I can't ever do that. It's good not to have something sticking out of your body that's going to cause infections or that is more prone to infections. When I had the catheter, I got an infection in it. And then when I got real sick, come to find out what was wrong with my knee, it had settled, the, the staff had settled in my knee. And it was so thick he couldn't draw it out. So he had to do surgery on my knee and get all that stuff out and take some tissue out and I just will never walk right again. And I can't walk very far, I just get too tired. Because I used to do a lot, a lot of walking, I used to walk a lot. There's more chance of an infection with a catheter also. And that goes directly into, into the, heart. the heart, which is much more dangerous. The catheter no se puede mantener por mucho tiempo. These just don't last that long, and there's, it's kind of like a time bomb waiting to happen. You can match people for everything else, for whether they're old or whether they're young, and what color they are, and uh, how sick they are otherwise, everything. Once you take all that into account, people who have fistulas live longer. A fistula is... They, they take a vein in your arm, and, and they connect it to an artery. 
or they connect an artery to a vein so that you can get a better blood flow through this area, making the dialysis access easier and better. The fistula is built using the patient's own artery and vein, and therefore there is no foreign material that uh, bacteria like to uh, invade. This gentleman is a brand new AV fistula. It's about three weeks old. We'll probably start in the next week to 10 days using his fistula. But the actual surgery itself was just this little little incision right there. He has a catheter in his chest over here that he's anxious to get rid of, right? Yeah, because it itches. I was very hesitant at first. I really didn't want to have anything to do with it. I didn't want another procedure. I had an appointment set up, but I canceled it. I think in general it was fears of the, fears of the unknown of, of what, what's this going to do for me now? What's this next step? I don't remember it being a big hurdle to get over or anything. I just, you know, it was a simple operation. I was awake for it. It's just done on, on your wrists. I knew catheters. I'd had them before. And I said, well, this is easy. It's simple. Most people like catheters because it's easier because they don't have to be stuck by a needle and I'm getting very used to that now. My sister's terrified of needles, so she's like, oh, I could never get used to it. But you do, you get used to anything, you have to get used to it. People say, oh, do you feel it? Do you feel the needle going in? The answer is honestly and truly, I did not feel the needle going in. They give me a little Novocaine before I actually get the needle put in, so I get the little, a little bit of a snap, but then after that, it's just, you know, everything's downtown. I'll be out somewhere sometimes, and somebody will say, oh, what happened to your arm? And I'm like, what, what? And I don't realize at first that they're just talking because my arm is kind of bumpy from the from the access. And I'm like, oh, that that's not. It's, it's a great thing at parties because you come up to people, here, feel this, feel this. Oh, here, listen to this. And it sounds like a big booming echo, you know, so it's uh, pretty funny, actually. He said that he um, had had a fistula for about a year. And I said, well, where where is it? It's, <laughs> he says, oh, it's that little lump right there. And it surprised me because most of the people I'd seen in the unit had very large uh, bumps on their arms. And I didn't know that some of these people had had these for upwards of 20 years. I've heard people say to me, oh, I wouldn't let them do that to my arm, but the options between that and the risk of infection and, you know, all the stuff that can happen, I think it's just makes the most sense. The fistula offers such important advantages, so much uh, extra lifespan for the patient when you compare it to what people may consider more, more appealing, you know, a hidden catheter under a blouse. Uh, but that catheter is not going to keep you alive as long as the fistula. And the average catheter lasts only three to six months before it either becomes infected or fails to work and has to be removed. The average fistula is now lasting for three or four years before it uh, fails, and many fistulas go much longer. My first fistula was in my left hand, that lasted for six years, and my second fistula now has lasted uh, 13 plus. I hesitate to talk about it because I'm a little superstitious, but it's, it's done very well. It was going great, thump, 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 and then it stopped. So Dr. Leftwich did this one. I've known people that had trouble with their access, but I would still say it's worth it, definitely. I mean, this, I've never heard of anybody that had trouble that they couldn't fix. Para mí es menos complicada y, y pues no duele y trae menos complicaciones. Al menos para mí no he tenido complicaciones. We have a green light. You can see the difference here. Uh, we're surpassing our goal, actually. That's because Tony has a fistula. Tony has a what? Fistula. Oh. This, remember this thing in your arm? Yes, I remember. Yes. Yeah, I know. Sometimes you do forget. And this is one with the needles in. You never had a catheter? No. You haven't been in the hospital since you've been here, have you? No. Are you thinking of sending me? No, we're keeping you here, honey. <laughs> the best quality filtering is done through your veins as compared to the catheter. Um, and, you know, that's important. That's it's. If you're going to sit in a chair for four hours, you should get the most out of it. You know, four hours three times a week is a big chunk of your life. It's like the difference between, uh, I guess, 
driving in a VW or a limousine. You know, they both get you there, but it's not the same. I put my own needles in. Well, when you put it in yourself, you know right where the needles are going. And you feel like you have more control over your own life that way. I mean, giving up a lot of time to dialysis, sure, I mean, beats the alternative, but, <laughs> but I like being able to feel like I can count on myself to do stuff. Sometimes I try to tell them where to go. They, I tell them, you gotta go to the left a little bit. And they're very good. They say, well, we have to listen to the patient, which is what I like. And then if they don't get anything, I shut my mouth. I noticed that a lot of patients that had had them for a while would prep themselves and they'd go to get their supplies and get the area ready and everything, and um, they seemed very comfortable with it. And that was a big part of the decision, too. Basically, the quality of life, that's the most important thing. With the fistula, you're not hung up with tubes, you're not right. covering up and showering. Uh, everything is better. Quality of life is very good for me. I guess I'm the kind of a fella that has a, every day is a bonus day, and the fistula is doing that for me. I'm very curious. I'm looking forward to it because it's, it's going to grow. This vein is going to get much larger in my arm. If you want to have a normal life, as, you, as normal as you can have it prior to having your kidney failure, the only way to do it is a fistula. I have no complaint whatsoever. Life is beautiful, and it's a bowl of cherries. The courage and candor of these wonderful patients should help renal patients make an informed choice about vascular access options for their dialysis care. If you are a dialysis patient or are about to become a dialysis patient, be sure to ask your doctor about an AV fistula.